Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to give an introduction to a new series of videos on neuroendocrinology. The hypothalamus sends signals to both the anterior and posterior pituitary causing them to release various neuroendocrine hormones. The anterior pituitary is controlled by hormones released from the hypothalamus. Gonadotropin releasing hormone acts to release luteinizing and follicle stimulating hormones which act on the gonads. Growth hormone releasing hormone acts to release growth hormone which acts on the liver as well as many other organs. Thyrotropin releasing hormone acts to relieve thyroid stimulating hormone which acts on the thyroid gland. Corticotropin releasing hormone acts to release adrenocorticotropic hormone which acts on the adrenal cortex. And somatostatin and dopamine are also released from the hypothalamus which inhibit the release of growth hormone and prolactin respectively. The hypothalamus also has neurons that project to the posterior pituitary allowing it to send signals to release oxytocin, which acts on the uterus, and vasopressin, which acts on the kidneys. For more information on each of these neuroendocrine hormones, keep an eye on this channel for future videos in this series. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.